In today's world, it is nearly impossible to imagine life without technology. There are a number of technologies or domains which have helped mankind in a lot of ways. All the technologies which are evolved since the beginning of mankind has one common object. This objective is to make the discovery and invention of a lot more techniques which can help the human beings as well as the other domains in different ways. One of the most tremendous and beneficial technology is cybernetics. This technology has evolved a few decades ago. At that time it wasn't sure whether this technology will be able to fulfill the needs of daily life or not. Here, a precise description of the advantages technology of cybernetics is discussed. It is very important to know and understand about such technologies which are helping humans through a number of ways or methods. From the origination of the word cybernetics to its actual use in the number of fields or domains are discussed here. Since cybernetics is very beneficial, it is reigning in almost all types of domains such as biology, physiology, psychology, mathematics, mechanical engineering and electrical field, etc. The list of the different types of areas which take the advantage of the utilities bestowed by cybernetics is long. In order to understand the concept, it is very important to know about its origin and history. Cybernetics was first introduced by an American mathematician and philosopher who has a strong intention and determination that the interaction between machines as well as human beings or other living organisms can be possible. The help of the technology of cybernetics, it was the objective to initiate the interaction or communication between the living beings and the machines. In today's world, it is very common to interact or communicate with a machine. Almost all people have computers or laptops for cell phones in which they perform different types of operations. The task of humanity is to give instructions to the machine and the job of the machine is to understand and complete the command of the owner of a particular device, respectively. In the same way, all types of interactions and communications can be achieved. For an example, if a person is dialing a phone number, the job of the phone is to take the command and call the dialed number. This is one of the ways through which interaction between human and machines can be done. But things are not the same as they were earlier. Nowadays, not just the simple phone dialing for calling or pressing a remote button for changing a channel is interaction, but the level of communication between machines and humans has so much expanded. Many companies are manufacturing robots which have many innovative qualities. For putting such qualities, there is a great requirement of innovative ideas. And these ideas are brought out by the enlightening minds, various scholars and researchers who are continuously seeking to make life easier than ever. Robots are supposed to be the servants of the humans who can take commands from their masters in order to complete any type of job or work. With the help of the advance in the technology of cybernetics, this mission is also accomplished. However, cybernetics is not just about the robots, it is also about a great interaction between machines and humans, and also about the other respective areas and fields of study. Here, a process description from the beginning of the cybernetics technology to till date is explained. The history of any technology tells about its gradual growth from a mere technique to universally accepted technique. In order to understand the various steps which have been used and examined in order to bring out the best of cybernetics, it is very necessary to read the history of cybernetics. In the advancement or enhancement of cybernetics, there is not the involvement of a single person. However, the only person who is known as the father of cybernetics is Norbert Weiner. Later, with the help of two more mathematicians, philosophers and physicians, a lot of conceptions has been added to the domain of cybernetics. A part of the mechanical field, there is so much about the field of biology which contains or consists of a number of fields like psychology, neurology, etc. It was not an easy task to implement the interaction of communication of living organisms or living beings with machines. So it is clear 
that the history of cybernetics consists of a lot of hard work and efforts by the various brilliant scientists and researchers of the world who have not only contributed in the successful implementation cybernetic but has also added a lot to the comfort and understanding of various things which are present in the world. Apart from the history of cybernetics, there is also a brief discussion about the limitations of cybernetics which have hindered the way of this technology from performing a few tasks. At the same time, it is also very necessary and significant to know about the influence of cybernetics to the world and to the life of humans and other living organisms. Here, the explanation of each and every concept has been done both in a precise and brief way which is suitable for the learners to understand the entire concept of cybernetics. In the upcoming chapters, there is also a discussion about artificial intelligence and cybernetics which will help the learners to remove any sort of confusion they have in their mind regarding both of these technologies. A precise comparison about the difference between artificial intelligence and cybernetics is also explained along with the various conceptual ideas which prove that both of these technologies may have something in common, but there are a lot of things which are very different from each other. Cybernetics is an eminent technology which is ruling all over the world along with all the types of areas of work and a lot more is on the way. This technology has capabilities to change the world in a better way. Learn more about it to understand it and its importance.